Next exercise is in line content side by side. So we are going to tweak this gallery of aquatic animals. Should look familiar. We worked on this in a previous exercise where we were hiding and showing the captions with the display property. What we want to do in this exercise is basically we want the caption and the images to be next to each other. So instead of the caption on the bottom of the picture, we want the caption to be next to the picture. So we are going to make use of a new property called float and we're going to edit the image class to have the image float to the left and the caption class to have the caption float to the right. Okay, so we want to obviously make sure we're viewing our web page to see the full effect. So let's go ahead and get started. If you run this code and open it up in a new window, you should see that the captions are organized one underneath each picture and each caption is in a div with the class caption and each image is in a div with the class image. So we're going to edit these two classes. We're going to go over to the style sheet and in the image class we can go ahead and delete this placeholder text or you can leave it. It's totally up to you. It actually has the instructions so it might be helpful to leave it there. Since our classes are called image, just wanted to make sure it's spelled out all the way, so dot image we are going to add just float left. Okay, so you can imagine what this is going to do. It's going to make sure that our image goes to the left side. It floats to the left. Okay, so float can take two values, left or right, and we're going to set the caption to right. So they're hopefully going to be sitting side by side. So the caption class is dot caption and we're going to add in all of these properties and values. So just follow exactly what you see there. Give it a four pixel solid black border. So for border, four pixels solid black, you can give all of the properties, I'm sorry, all of the values at once rather than border width, border style, border color, we can give the border property three values all together. Okay, the padding, we just did this in the previous exercise, is going to be set to 10 pixels. Same for the margin. Okay, and remember, since we want it on all sides, it's just one value. And a width of 50%. This is going to make sure it doesn't take up the whole width of the container that it's sitting in and leave some room for the image. And then finally, float right. So our caption should be on the right side. Let's save this and let's refresh our what page? Okay, looks great. So all of your captions should be on the right side. Notice they have the black solid border around it and they are taking up only half the width of the whole box it's sitting in. Image is floating to the left. So float right and float left is a great way to organize things if you want a two column layout and that's generally the most popular use of float left and float right. They don't need to be used together. They can be used separately. Again, it's another great way to give your web pages some more interesting layouts. Okay, very nice work. I believe we have one last exercise in lesson 12 and we're officially done with CSS box model. Nice work.